The Fox 34 Factory The Fox 34 Factory was made to allow aggressive riders to enjoy the trails with more confidence knowing they have a fork which will not let them down, doesn't matter how rough they get with it. For those of you who are not familiar with Fox nomenclature, Factory basically means top of the range in the product line, so a Fox Factory will be expensive either new or used as it is a suspension fork in high demand across mountain bikers. The 34 is a trail suspension fork from Fox. It will have between 110 and 160 mm of travel, depending on wheel size. On the 27.5, it will range from 140 to 160 mm, with 44 or 35 mm offset, both with boost and non-boost axles. The 29ers will have between 120 and 140 mm travel with either 44 or 51 mm offset and also both boost and non-boost axles, although some offset values changed in the 2021 lineup. It only comes with a tapered steer tube made from aluminium. Crown and stanchions are also made from aluminium and the lower legs from magnesium. For weight winnies there's a step cast option of the 34 but only comes with 120 mm travel and of course all of those being factory products will have the famous Kashima coated stanchions. The Kashima coat is achieved through a process called hard anodizing, which increases metal surface hardness if compared to normal anodizing, making it more resistant to damage and corrosion. In this process there's also a lubrification treatment which will decrease friction, making the Kashima coated Fox products very desirable amongst both enthusiasts and pros. Fox is also the only company using this treatment, increasing even further the demand and consequently price for the factory products. On the left side you have a Fox Float Airspring, which in the 34 lineup takes a lot of the technology used on the float rear shock spring. The float spring is considered a lightweight airspring that equalizes both positive and negative air chambers on its own, which according to Fox increased sensitivity and traction regardless of air pressure. Having a smooth initial stroke compression and the option to add volume spacers to get more mid-stroke support and bottom-out resistance. As of 2018 you have the float EVO air spring also on the 34 series, which just means a bigger negative air chamber for even more initial stroke smoothness, small bump sensitivity and more mid-stroke support giving you an overall better performance if compared to a non-EVO float spring. Regarding the damper, the Fox Float 34 factory comes with a fit for damper if it is a model between 2016 and 2020. As of 2021, you can also choose to buy the Fox 34 factory with the new Fit Grip 2 damper. The Fit for acronym means Fox Isolated Technology from the 4th generation, and it is one of the two premium dampers from Fox being the other, the Fit Grip 2. If the Fit 4 damper, which came out in 2015, makes things simpler and tunable on the go, the Fit Grip 2 is exactly the opposite, meaning more adjustability, but also more time spent adjusting settings. So, although somewhat better, the Fit Grip 2 might not be the ideal damper for you. The Fit 4 is the fourth iteration of the Fit damper, and its architecture is inspired on the retired RC2 damper, but with much better adjustability capabilities. It comes in a closed cartridge system with bladder where oil and air do not mix. 
it has three position compression adjustments, firm, medium and open. On the open position you'll have between 18 and 22 clicks, depending on manufacturing year, to adjust the feeling and sensitivity of the fork, which is actually a very wide range and will mean that you will always have the chance to make your Fox 34 factory more compliant to your needs on the trails. Unfortunately, the fit for damper only allows low speed compression adjustment. However, trail riding is becoming more aggressive and more technical and starting to lean more to enduro riding as opposed to cross country riding. And it's probably with that in mind that the 2021 lineup also came with a fit grip to damper, which allows for both low speed compression and high speed compression adjustments. Under the right side of the lowers and steel part of the fit for damper, you will have a red aluminum rebound knob with 9 clicks adjustment, which also has an increased oil flow throughout the circuit to allow for faster recovery from deep stroke hits. The fit for damper, although the same since 2016, has been tuned over and over throughout the years to shed weight, increase plushness or simply to tweak adjustability, or like in 2020 where it was updated with an 8mm damper shaft, new bladder and reconfiguration of the compression and rebound chim stack which according to Fox provides more sensitivity while maintaining low speed compression support. So depending on your forks here you may have different small tune ups on your damper which improve so very slightly overall performance of your suspension. Keep in mind the new Fox 34 factory didn't get the new upgraded lowers of the 36 and 40 2021 lineup, which means you will not have the bleeder knobs on the lowers backsides or the round arch chassis. Out on the trails, the Fox 34 factory feels as it should feel for a premium product. Initial stroke compression is subtle and smooth, allowing to ride with comfort and confidence while getting all the traction one might want on uneven terrain, while your front wheel follows the terrain's contours. On corning and body shifts, the fork stays relatively high on its travel, without sacrificing comfort and control. Coming down on very rough terrain, with a lot of mid-sized bumps, the fork behaves as it should, delivering good amounts of traction and control, while being kind to your hands and arms, with very low levels of feedback. Fork diving while hard braking is also small, helping you to keep your composure on the bike. The three position adjustment is also very useful, especially if you have the remote on your handlebars, which I actually don't. The firm position works amazingly well and you will see the difference when climbing with it on firm mode or not. The firm position is also useful for pedaling on flat terrain giving you a noticeable, more efficient pedaling performance. The medium position, as good as it may be, didn't get much use for me as I normally go from open to firm and back to open on most of my rides, but if you ever need it, it is there and that's that. Although not the 36 fork, torsion and lateral movements are very acceptable giving you that premium feeling everybody is looking for while allowing for more steering control. Fork movement under brake forces is also acceptable, which means better braking performance. If you are looking to buy a used Fox 34 factory, because let's face it, they are a stupidly expensive new, or any other Fox factory for what that matters, now is the perfect time to do it so. As with the new 2021 lineup recently available on the market, there's a lot of riders wanting to sell their older models to help them finance the new ones. So now is the time and if you search carefully, you will find some pretty sweet deals out there. That being said, 
this is the end of this review. I hope it was helpful and entertaining, and if so, please hit the like button. And of course, subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell for upcoming reviews. And have fun riding a bike!